Hello everyone, today on the Doctor Who Guide, I am super excited to be unboxing Doctor Who The Collection Season 2. I cannot wait, as you can see behind me, we have all of the seasons except for Season 9. That is on its way to me, and then there's the rest. Alright, so the reason I am only now just getting this is because I ordered The Collection Season 2 from Amazon.co.uk, and it never arrived. It got lost in a time eddy, it got swallowed up by the time vortex, it demanded hopped into a parallel universe. Whatever happened, it did not end up at my doorstep. So I got a refund from Amazon and thankfully, out of the blue, my friend Aaron from the All Things Doctor Who YouTube channel asked me if I needed season two because he had been sent two copies of it from Zavi. So I was like, yes, I've just got this refund. And so I was able to buy it from Aaron. So thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending this to me. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited. I think this opens from the side. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, look at that. We have some Target novelizations. Oh, that is so exciting. Oh my gosh. And of course, here is the incredible collection season two, brand new and sealed. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to unbox this. But just, I mean, look at this. And look at this pile of Doctor Who Target novelizations. All right, let's take a look at this. It's sealed, so let's open it up. All right, so here it is completely unsealed. Just look at that beautiful artwork by Lee Binding. Oh my gosh, we have the first Doctor there in this beautiful colorized photo with the time vortex in the background, beautifully colorized as well. Those greens, the blues, the light, this almost sunburst coming out over his shoulder is absolutely incredible. And the way it lines up with the J card, that's pretty close and it just adds such a lovely touch. Again, beautiful artwork with the first Doctor with his monocle and his ring as well well incredible detail and then in the center quite a few different characters we have a dalek in the center to the left there king richard just behind that dalek we have the meddling monk above him the butterfly looking creature is a monoptera and then that green tusked creature is coquillion and then we have one of the morocks from the space museum and we have a zarbi as well oh my gosh that is incredible nine discs i mean the overall impression that you get from this is how gigantic it is. We have never had a nine disc set before. This is what the binding looks like with like almost a widescreen square there for the first Doctor, the logos, and then the season two rating. This is the back of the J card itself. You can pause and read it. Included on the back here is some incredible artwork with the different stories represented. Great artwork showcasing a lot of the season two stories. It lists out all of the season two stories in the top left there and gives us a list of the new bonus features included, which includes two brand new interviews with William Russell and Maureen O'Brien. That's so exciting. Behind the Sofa, Flight Through Eternity, full-length documentary looking back at the early years of Doctor Who, a collectibles documentary, missing episode reconstructions, the storyteller, PDF written archive, and exclusive booklet. So that is incredible. Oh my gosh. And then here we have the other side. So that's what the J card looks like. We'll set that off to one side. This is what the clean artwork on the front of the set looks like without the J card there. Very, very cool to see that. There's the border. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that's incredible. Incredible. So this is from the chase when the TARDIS is being chased. Lee Binding has done it again. Oh my gosh. So that is so cool. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh my goodness. So my little booklet holder is a little bit damaged there. That can happen easily if someone is trying to put open. That's a shame. All right, let's take a look at the discs. There is like no room to get at these discs. You really have to just tip it up like that and let these fall like so. All right, so this is what disc two looks like. We have Susan and Ian taking a look at a gigantic ant from Planet of Giants. Disc two has the Dalek invasion of Earth and has a picture from that story of Susan and Barbara. So that's great. I'm glad that Susan did feature on this artwork. Doctor Who the Rescue has the first Doctor and Ian there. I would have thought Vicky would show up on this, seeing as it's for her story, but it's fun to have a candid moment with the Doctor and Ian on this artwork as well. They've gone with a blue theme so as to not have to do individual colorizing on these. So I understand why they did that. That would have been really nice if we could have given the binding, the funding, and the time to colorize each of these photos. We have the here 
the Romans with a great screenshot of the whole cast for that episode. Disc 5 has the web planet with a great picture of the first Doctor with the TARDIS behind him. He's all geared up, ready to go outside into the atmosphere of this web planet. Disc 6 has the Crusade with the first Doctor and Vicky. So good to see both of them just enjoying each other's company immensely, which is great. Disc 7 has the Space Museum with a shot from the episode where it looks like the Doctor's in a bit of trouble there, but it looks like Ian's got the situation under control. Disc 8 has the chase with the Daleks fighting the Mechanoids. I mean, that's exactly what I want to see on this, other than perhaps maybe a shot of Ian and Barbara. And here we come to Disc 9 with the Time Meddler. We have Steven, Vicky, and the Doctor there. It's actually, he's holding the Viking helmet. Just Steven doesn't believe that they're in the past in Earth's history, that they've traveled through time. And the Doctor goes, what do you think this is? And he holds up the Viking helmet, a space helmet for a cow. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness. So there's the Doctor's face there, colorized with the blue in the background. I would have liked to have seen it fill up the circle a little bit more because now I'm wondering like where the rest of him is. It does look like the back of my disc tray has come undone. In the factory, they just moved it over. That explains why it was so far over to the edge and I couldn't get them out with my finger. That's frustrating, but what are you going to do? All right, so here we have the booklet holder, again with incredible artwork by Lee Binding. There's a beautiful shot of the TARDIS and a Dalek emerging from the river. You've got the It Is Forbidden to Dump Bodies into the River poster. And if you open up booklet holder, and see, oh my gosh, this incredible artwork of the whole cast that we saw on the back, but now it's just so wonderfully saturated with the yellows and the deep blues coming together. All the characters from the season and companions represented there. If we open it up, you can see the booklet inside as well as this promotional pamphlet and this diorama of the TARDIS console and interior from season two. So not only do we have, you know, the floor down here, the walls of the TARDIS here, the different pieces of furniture that we see throughout the series, the time and space visual scanner, the TARDIS console. But up top here, we have this incredible actual piece of the set that provided some lighting. And it's a unique aspect to the first Doctor's TARDIS and isn't seen in a lot of stories, but you do see it in some of the early ones, especially. So that's very cool that they included it in the top panel there. Here we have the promotional pamphlet, pages one and two, three and four advertising season two audiobooks. Very cool. I've listened to Planet of Giants, The Dalek Invasion of Earth, The Rescue, as well as The Romans, which is now out. They don't have it pictured here, but I've also listened to The Web Planet too. Here we have pages five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, and here's the back. I do like if they're going to advertise that they theme the advertisements to what is related to season two, so that's great. All right, so here we have the booklet itself. This is part of what's exclusive to this set, so let's take a look. This is what the artwork looks like. Again, beautiful. And then on the back, we have these wonderful promotional shots of all of the actors and companions and doctor with their autographs. That's so incredible. I love that. All right. So here we have pages two and three with a wonderful picture of William Hartnell there and a quote from his wife. That is so sweet. So that's pages two and three, four and five, six and seven, eight and nine with this beautiful artwork from the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Ten and and 11, 12, and 13 with this beautiful black and white artwork from The Rescue, 14 and 15, 16 and 17 with this beautiful full page artwork from Doctor Who the Romans. Absolutely incredible. Here we have pages 18 and 19, 20 and 21 with this incredible artwork for the web planet, pages 22 and 23, 24 and 25 with this wonderful shield shaped artwork for the Crusade, 26 and 27 with this artwork from the Space Museum. Pages 28 and 29, which has this incredible full page artwork for Doctor Who the Chase. Incredible. Oh my gosh, that geometric shape that's reminiscent of the mechanoids themselves. Here we have pages 30 and 31, 32 and 33, which has this beautiful artwork of the Time Meddler and the Doctor. And here we have pages 34 and 35 with one of my favorite pictures of this cast ever. I just love all of their smiles 
miles. That's incredible. And then of course we have all these wonderful people to thank for this beautiful set. That's the end of the booklet. All right. So Aaron has also included some Doctor Who target novelizations for me. Doctor Who and the Daleks by David Whitaker, an incredible novelization. I can't say enough good about it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Aaron. We also have here Doctor Who and the Crusaders, the 14th story novelized again by David Whitaker. Doctor Who and the 10th Planet as well, the very last first Doctor story. So that's super exciting. The Ice Warriors by Brian Hales with that incredible sparkling design by Brian Hales, which is very cool as well. Doctor Who, the Abominable Snowman, again, beautiful artwork. Doctor Who, the Web of Fear with the web behind the Doctor there and the Yeti shooting lasers out of his eyes. Next up, we have Doctor Who and the Auton Invasion, which is the very first third Doctor story, as well as a second different version. You can see on the back here, different pricing as well. We also have Doctor Who and the Cave Monsters, Doctor Who and the Demons, Doctor Who and the Terror of the Autons, Doctor Who and the Curse of Peladon, Doctor Who and the Sea Devils. I love that artwork. Doctor Who and the Three Doctors, Doctor Who and the Space War, and the Dinosaur Invasion, and Doctor Who Revenge of the Cybermen, Doctor Who and the Pyramids of Mars, and last but not least, Doctor Who the Seeds of Doom. Oh my goodness, Aaron, thank you so much for all of these Doctor Who Target novelizations, and thank you so, so much for Doctor Who the Collection Season 2, the limited edition Blu-ray. All right, so now we have Season 2 in place with Seasons 8 and 10, Season 12, the first edition, Season 12, the second edition, Season 14, Season 17, and Season 18, as well as 19. So there's five on this shelf, which I think works. I think I can fit five per shelf, so that's very cool. And then we have Seasons 22, 23, 24, and 26. That's so exciting. Once I get Season 9, we'll have three part ways in the middle there. Comment down below if you will be getting this, or are you waiting for the U.S. version, which comes out very soon at the time of recording on March 28th? Or are you going to wait for the Australian edition? Or will you wait for the standard edition? Comment down below. I'd love to know. Thank you so much to Aaron for helping me to get this into my collection. Oh my gosh. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe. Keep growing your knowledge collection in connection with other Doctor Who fans. Albert the Adipose says hello, and we both hope to see you in the next video. Bye.